Hello everyone, welcome to the world according to Jason. We are once again in Broken Arrow and this time I'm joined by baby girl Nene. And we are at Capriati's Sandwich Shop and we're here to try out some pretty legendary sandwiches. I'm excited. Me too. So we ordered four different sandwiches on the menu. Uh, we've got, right in front of us, we have the Wagyu cheesesteak. Yes. And it comes with uh, onions, and also you can choose between sweet or hot peppers. Yep. We're like, throw them both in. Give them so us all. We're gonna try it with both peppers. Then we got a barbecue chicken sandwich. Yep. We got a Bob McGillicuddy, what was it? It's the called other? a hot bobby. A hot bobby. Yep. And it's basically Thanksgiving on a bun. Yeah, thanks. It's got like stuffing and cranberry sauce yep. and turkey. Yep. And it looks amazing. And then the last one we got was the, the Capri. Capistrami. 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 Which that has like, it looks like coleslaw. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a Russian dressing and a Russian coleslaw on it. Oh, yes, that sounds amazing. It's fantastic. So, I mean, these sandwiches look phenomenal and what we did is we actually got the half cuts um, or the half sandwich which yep. is the smallest size yep. and then they're really kind enough to oblige us to cut the half in half <laughs> because we have four sandwiches we're going to try we didn't want to you know lading the tramp at every time so every time. <laughs> uh, but uh, before we begin i just want to thank the the owners of this glenn and stan uh, for letting us come in here and film this review they're very friendly uh, they we'll be interviewing them very shortly so you'll get to, to know a little bit more about the restaurant and how it operates but without any further ado i think it's time to start trying some of the sandwiches yep. while they're nice and hot so i will just say i have eaten here um, probably three times a week for the last several months <laughs> so you can tell this is a good place this is very very off. good you have a favorite sandwich um the wagyu cheesesteak has kind of been my favorite so far but i mean they're all just amazing but uh all right, well, let's dig in. All right. I mean, since uh, for the close of the beauty shots, I manhandled this half. <laughs> yep. Let's use that one. There we go. Boom. All right. Mm. It's yummy. Mm. That meat is so incredibly tender. It's got kind of a smoky taste. It's a grill. Yeah, because of the grill. Yep. Yeah, these peppers are nice. They're not. They they're have not two different good. types. They've got yeah, a sweet, sweet pepper and a hot pepper that you can either add to the sandwich. It's not typically on it, but you can add it to it. Yeah, they'll ask you when you order it, do you like peppers? And if so, do you like sweet or hot? And we had both. We threw both on there. Yeah, just because that's what I usually do. The peppers aren't too hot. They're not bad. No, not no. So bad. it's just a little like heat. They're a little bit more mild than a jalapeno. Yeah, they're more, yeah, definitely milder than a jalapeno for sure. Because they're grilled, so yeah, it's yeah. oh, so mm. good. You can tell it's fresh, fresh mm -hmm. baked like this morning. Oh man. Fantastic. I love this place. I'm in love with it too. It was good, right? Yeah. Luckily they happened up there in, in, in New York. They do. You said they're in New York, right? Two locations. We got like four more sandwiches to eat here. I know, but it's so dang good. <laughs> All right, so next we have the capistrami. And the capistrami has pastrami, Swiss cheese, coleslaw, and Russian dressing. Fantastic. The and it's on another one of those like amazing buns again. So yes. Rolls. I'm super excited. Uh, just oh, oh. this like just brings such a smile to my face. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Mm. Oh. I love the crunch from the coleslaw. Mm. That sweetness from got the, the sweet from it. Yeah. Mm. Top notch, like the meat from the other sandwich. It's good. It's my number two. This is your number two? This is my number two. I'm gonna reserve judgment until you get through, through all. Yeah, you got you got a couple more to go. The Russian dressing has a nice kind of tang to it. It's creamy. It's creamy. And that coleslaw has a nice sweet flavor to it. It kind of brings it all together, I think. I mean, look how delicious. Look at that. The Russian dressing mm -hmm. just like oozing off of the meat. If I lived near one of these, I would also visit it three times a week. <laughs> you know, it's in, it's in over there in Brooklyn, so. Yeah, Brooklyn's a little far away. <laughs> Door dash it. <laughs> we won't deliver that far. Man, look at that meat. Oh my gosh. You got the you, you got the good half. Layers and layers of meat. 
Oh, did you not get as much meat in here? I had, I had, I had plenty of meat in mine, but that's just that was a good, that was a good one. All right, so coming up next, we have Jen's favorite, the Bobby, which has turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, and mayo. You can get a classic or grilled hot. I think we got, we got a, a hot. classic. No, that's not hot. We got, yeah, we got. Did we get classic? I thought we got a hot. It's cold. Oh, okay, I guess we got a classic. We got a classic, which is served cold. Yeah. If you're if you're in the mood for a Thanksgiving feast and it's not Thanksgiving, this is what you got to get. Yeah. Because you have a whole year in between every Thanksgiving, right? right? So this is like bringing Thanksgiving to uh, so this is like April right now, it, kind of back half of April. So uh, if yeah. you if you've seen the show Friends and the sandwich they make on the show Friends where he freaks out, this is very close to that sandwich. Very close to that. All right. Bing. So nostalgic. I like that the turkey is like real turkey. It's mm -hmm. like shredded turkey. It's not that like really thin. They roast the turkey here every day. They roast the turkey, they roast the turkey here every day and they, and they, and they pull and they it. They pull it. That's awesome. This is really good. But the stuffing is good. The cranberry sauce is amazing. Yep. This is a good sandwich. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and the bread has been consistent. That's sandwich we've had. Nice and pillowy. This is going to be tough, like trying to choose a favorite. You know, it's like parents, like, how can I choose a favorite out of all my kids? That's how I feel right now. I'm conflicted on the inside. I'm getting full, though. I got room for another half. We're, we're going to go for like a 10 mile run here after this anyway, so it'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need like a four hour break after this. Yeah. <laughs> but, we're, we're, but, we can't, we, but we can't, because we got Kit Kats to go try. Yeah, we have <laughs> lots of snacks for you. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, we have the barbecue chicken, which has, oh, my mic. Oh, no. I apologize if there's some poopy audio for a little bit. But yes, we have the barbecue chicken. It's got provolone cheese, coleslaw, barbecue sauce, and crispy cheddar onions. So this is a sleeper here. Yeah, a lot this of people sleep on this one. I, yeah, so we, we've seen it on the menu forever. And we're just like, barbecue chicken, you know, barbecue chicken. Let's get something else. Let's get some, try something different, right? But we got barbecue chicken, we got this thing, and we were like, how did we not get this sandwich before? This you was so me good. a picture of it. Yeah. And I remember seeing like the crispy onion straws on there, and I was, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that one when, we, when I come to visit. So, I, yeah, I'm pretty it's excited It's really good. This one. There's a lot of flavors in this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's barbecue. I mean, it's more of a sweet barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Sweet barbecue. But then you have like that mayo coleslaw. The mayo coleslaw with the crunch of the onion. And that, so that mayo adds like a creamy consistency. Then you have the like sweet barbecue sauce. It's a nice combination. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have like, because usually when you have coleslaw, it's like a side thing. Yeah. And you're not eating the barbecue and the coleslaw together. Yep. But it's a nice combination. And those grilled onion straws or the fried onion straws, those are really so good. good too. Yeah, this is a solid sandwich. I don't know what it is about the coleslaw, but every sandwich it's on, it makes it so much better. And I, yeah, I mean, I agree that it, it definitely adds a nice like layer to the sandwich. And then the, the I love how they toast the buns. They toast them, yeah. But they're still so soft. Just gives that little crisp, and then a yeah, just nice little crunch. But then it's just still like it doesn't pillowy. Yeah, it doesn't make the bread all like super hard and kind of flaky. It's just still really, really good. We just tried out these four sandwiches. I think if I had to pick a favorite of just these four, of just these four, no, no, I don't, I can't, I, yeah. no, I'm trying to, man, I think it's going to be, it's a real close, real close between the Cap'n Strami mm -hmm. and the uh, Wagyu. Okay. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to have to give it to the Wagyu at the end. Nice. Me, I love Wagyu. Yep. I love cheesesteaks. That's so what, that's, that's the way I am. It's, it's the cheesesteak Wagyu, the Capistrami. And then, and then these, I don't know. I mean, I would say they're, they're like they're equal, side by it just side. Depends on like what kind of mood you're in. Yep. Like if you're in that like, man, I really want Thanksgiving feast, but Thanksgiving is eight months away. The hot bobby. You can get the hot bobby. I would, I would like to try it hot next time. I mean, cold. It is good, good hot too. It, it is good hot too. Usually, when I have like Thanksgiving leftovers, I just take them out of the fridge and make a sandwich and it's yeah. cold. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's, that's what it's what, like. So it had that very nostalgic feeling. Yep. But then I'd, I'd be interested what it's like hot. As well. They also have soups here. 
they have oh, a they have a clam chowder and uh, which is clam chowder is really good and they have a tomato bisque that's really good as well. Nice. Yeah, so I've had both of those yeah, and they're so both you good. Come in and get like a sandwich and a soup or a sandwich and a salad. Yeah. We just did sandwiches because we had four and we're we're pretty full. <laughs> but yeah, that that was great. So do you, is your favorite still the wagyu? It's still steak? the wagyu cheesesteak. Yeah. I, I love the wagyu cheesesteak and then putting those sweet onions and the hot onions on it, or yeah, the, the sweet, sweet peppers. Pepper. Yeah, it's just so both good. Because I think usually some people choose one or the other. One, yeah, just do both. But if you can tolerate a jalapeno. Just a little heat. It's not that bad. It, it, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. So go for both. Go for both yeah. All right, so we're here with Stan, one of the owners of the of the establishment here. Thanks again for letting us come and film. We have had such a blast so far. Great. Food is amazing. So I wanted to just talk to you a little bit, and, and maybe if you could walk me through, how did uh, this, this chain start? So Capriati Sandwich Shop started in the Little Italy section of Wilmington, Delaware. Wow. Back in the mid-70s, a brother and sister, in their house actually, they decided they, they just couldn't get good quality food, lunch, lunch food, so they started roasting turkeys all night in their oven wow. and pulled the meat off the bone fresh in the morning and made turkey sandwiches. That's what they started out doing. And they came up with one particular sandwich that they named the Bobby after their Aunt Bobby, who made this for them when they were kids. After the holidays, their Aunt Bobby would make a sandwich made of leftover turkey, stuffing, and cranberry sauce from the holidays. And so we have a Thanksgiving on a roll sandwich that's called the Bobby that Capriati's is very famous for. And it's a fantastic sandwich. It is, we, that was, we were lucky enough to try that one. And yeah, it is so nostalgic. It just brings me back to like having Thanksgiving dinner with my families and usually we'd save all the leftovers, right. put them in the fridge and then the next morning we'd have turkey sandwiches. And that was just a perfect way to kind of capture that, that tradition. So no, that, that's awesome. And then you were telling me that, uh, so the bread's not baked here on the premises. Correct. Uh, you, it's a pretty interesting process. Would you mind walking us through that? Sure, I'd be glad to. So, so the brother and sister, that sister moved to Las Vegas in the early 80s. And she opened a Capriati sandwich shop there. Did very well, opened a couple other sandwich shops, so it grew from there. And now that's the corporate headquarters of Capriati's franchise is in Las Vegas. And there's a bakery in Las Vegas that makes all of our bread for every Capriati store in the country, except some of the ones back east in Wilmington are use, use local bakeries there because okay. they started out making those. But, sure. but Las Vegas Bakery makes all the bread for all the west, western U.S. restaurants and it gets shipped out. It's a flash freeze process that makes the bread 100% fresh when you get it out of, the, out of the freezer and thaw it. My father was a baker. He owned a bakery for over 45 years and everything he made was from scratch. Oh. I grew up with that quality. So I was skeptical in the beginning of the bread being frozen and shipped. But I had bread fresh and frozen thawed side by side in Las Vegas. I couldn't tell a difference. Well, we thought when we were reviewing it, it was like, oh, you could tell they baked this just this morning yeah. on premises. We had no idea. I mean, honestly, I was shocked when you said that it was not baked baked fresh here like this morning yeah it's, it's amazing incredible. the quality of the bread and people want to buy the bread only just the bread from us. Yeah. We, we can't do that we wouldn't be able to have enough space here to keep the bread we need for the sandwiches <laughs> yeah, if we did that but it is yeah. really good bread thank you Jesse. oh yeah it was amazing and then my favorite sandwich that I tried here today was that Wagyu cheesesteak and Wagyu isn't really a, a meat that you find in a lot of sandwich shops around I think it's this is like you, the first time I found it yeah you won't find a you won't find a Wagyu quality roast beef in any sandwich shop Capriati's partnered with uh, Snake River Farms oh, in Boise, those Idaho. Those are amazing. One, one of the best yeah. beef farms in the United right. States. And they do a special American Wagyu crossbreed of roast beef for Capriati's. And so it, it makes it affordable, but it keeps the qualities of the tenderness and the marbling. It's the most tender roast beef you're ever going to eat. Oh, yeah. It was so tender. And yeah, we were, I was just like, oh, this is just like Wagyu that I know and love. I mean, Wagyu is like my favorite type of meat. This like, store, that's probably our most popular is the Wagyu. The Wagyu? Either roast beef or cheesesteak. Yeah, the American Wagyu roast beef is extremely popular. We go through it quickly. Yeah, sure. Do yeah. You, do you uh, have, like, what are some of the other top subs that, that people use? Well, do? the Capriati's wise, the most popular is the classic cheesesteak. Okay. It's made with a sirloin steak, and it's really good too. It's fantastic. Um, the Bobby yep. is the second that's most good. popular. Then we have another really unique sandwich we call the capistrami. That's the other one we tried. You, you tried that so one. Good. Yeah. yeah. So that's a special special spin on pastrami sandwich. We grill the pastrami, we melt Swiss cheese on top of it, we pull it off and put it on a roll, and then we put a Russian dressing, which that name isn't real popular right now. We might want well, to call yeah. it a Ukrainian dressing, but, <laughs> yeah, okay. but it's we have Eastern a, European. Yes, we have we have a dressing that we put on it, and then we put on top our homemade fresh coleslaw. 
Yeah, that and was that, really that makes that sandwich incredible. Yeah, it's it really was killer. Unique. It was a really good, good sandwich. Good, good. Yeah. That was my number two. Okay. And then I, I couldn't choose between the other two because it's really like kind of what mood you're in. Right. Like if you, if you, I was saying, if you're missing that Thanksgiving meal, you're just like, oh man, I could really go for some Thanksgiving food right now. True. And that's going to be a perfect sandwich. And then the barbecue chicken is like, if you're not in the mood for Thanksgiving, that's a solid sandwich too. I mean, those like cheddar onion straws on there. Woo, those, those are, are good, aren't they? Yeah. People, when they order a sandwich with those crispy cheddar onions, some people don't like onions. They say, no onions. And I always take a minute to say, well, let me explain what these are. They're not really onions. They're more like the fried onions on a green bean casserole and Cheetos kind of cross. Uh, yeah, that's and a they're perfect, really good. It's a perfect description yeah. for them. Yeah. So, and how long has this, this establishment been so open? So we opened this restaurant in August of okay. 2021. So we've been open about eight months now. We've had great success beyond expectations. We've made so many new friends, like Sean and Jennifer. Yeah. Um, so many people that I call by first name now and, and see them once or twice a week at least. Uh, we had one customer, the first two and a half or three months we were open, she got a sandwich every day. Wow. Every single day. It's amazing. She still comes in pretty often. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean, because these are so delicious. Well, and they're you. very, like, the price is very fair. I think they're, yeah. they're especially for, like, Wagyu, like, a sandwich. I mean, I was expecting a lot more expensive than, than what it ended up coming to. Well, so. it, it may not be the cheapest sandwich shop around, oh. but for the quality we provide, so, so it's, it's a very good bargain, right. I think. Yeah. yeah and we're, we're not stingy beans. on the meat we put no, on the sandwich yeah, either. I mean, I saw, like, if you saw the uh, the capistrami I had, it was this nice stack of pastrami. Right. It was so good. Right. So, yes, thank you so much again for letting oh, us come and visit today. This was such a great experience, and I wish you the best of, of success. I appreciate that, Jason. So I appreciate much. you coming in and, and doing this for us and, and kind of running through it, it and, and an giving honor, us a try. Yeah. Uh, we're just having a lot of fun. Yeah, we really so, are. So, so thanks for your well, time, too. I will 100% be back here every time I come to visit these awesome. guys. Awesome. This is great. Awesome. And I'm hey. going to leave, uh, down in the description box below, I'll leave the link to this restaurant, all the information. So if you're passing through Broken Arrow or you're, you live in Broken Arrow or Tulsa, you have to come here. Seriously, this is such a great place. That's so great. thanks again for your time. Thank you, man. Thank yep. you. Enjoy your stay in Oklahoma. Thank too. you so much. Thank you, you bet. All right. Well, well thanks for uh, yeah. swinging by with us. Sean, thank you for telling me about this place. And again, uh, Glenn and Stan, thank you so much for, for letting us come here and film. Uh, I, I really enjoyed myself. Sean, did you have Oh, fun? yeah, always. I always eat, love eating here. So. so hopefully one of these locations will be coming near you. where I live in Jersey. <laughs> and hopefully there's one near you. If you've been to this place before, if you had any of these sandwiches let us know down in the comments below which one you tried what you liked and and if you haven't been there definitely add this as like your to-go destination if you're coming through broken arrow you got to come here for a really nice solid lunch well folks that's going to bring us to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed yourselves and if you did make sure you hit the like button make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well and please hit that notification bell so as soon as new videos pop up you're going to be the first to know about it thank you so much for sticking around to the end and until next time stay curious